my this is my biggest this is literally my biggest pet peeve in the world nobody has scratched this in like months and this guy just did albert einstein never f-ing said that yeah why would he why would he have said that yeah i know a physicist. i know i know people by the way you know that's that's not <laughs> it's not a real quote <laughs> but it's it's said so many times and it's funny because it's 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 uh said here so he he didn't get the memo hey, cameron if you're watching this remove that it's not an albert einstein quote or just put be comedic about it either cite the actual guy who said it or just say some guy yeah albert einstein said it best compounding interest is one of the is the greatest tool in the entire world uh, f- me Welcome back to the Capital Mindset Show. Just a fair warning, if you're not interested in this whole stuff, um, you know, you, you can leave this video. It's completely fine. You won't hurt my feelings. The vast majority of my content will still be on, you know, analysis, stuff like that for the fun stuff of YouTube, the, the typical uh, vlog style where we document the thoughts. So uh, I know this, this video might not be for all of you. This is, again, for a promise to those who were willing to share their story. And again, this is not Capital Mindset's brand or forte or anything like that, but it's something that has to be said. And I'll kind of give off a little bit uh, uh, story why. Well, Everything Money is the channel that claimed to be that value investing, that safer place for people to learn how to invest. And yeah, they have stated some things in the past about you know index funds, right? And they say it pretty frequently about people should invest in index funds. But this is all part of the same shtick, right? The shtick is, okay, they say that, but they then they project all these other things, which we will talk about today, that are very harmful to the newer investor. And they are the target demographic. The newer investor is the target demographic. I can tell you that for a fact, because at least in the capital mindset community, we have a lot of people who do work industry, who work in public accounting, who work in a variety of fields. We have a decent amount of actual PhDs, I found out. Some of them PhDs in chemistry, et cetera, and some of them who work in the semiconductor field. So we have a good array of people in the capital mindset community. All of them can see very quickly how insane a lot of this stuff is. Some of them don't even have experience in finance per se as a work, but they're intelligent enough in their own field to then understand and learn enough about this field that they can see that this is actual uh, BS. So that the quality of their software, will keep it to the side. That's a separate debate that can be had. This will be strictly on the stuff that we see today. And uh, uh, just so everyone understands or knows, again, this is because a lot of people were coming forward and I felt like, at the very least, their story has to be shared. So you might not even see some of the content from me. You might see some of the content coming out from other creators. So go check out Investing with Cole. He might make some content. Go check out Echoes from Above. Even Chris Strongman Personal Finance might make some content. And then if anyone else who has um, an interest in doing so, please reach out to me and I can actually walk you through all the stuff that is there. And I, I don't really care too much about making the content first, so to speak, just that it's out there and whoever watches whatever video or whoever's video can see it for themselves and make an informed decision as a consumer. Okay, so that's the goal of this whole series. So this is, I guess, the official part one uh, series of this. So we'll begin. And just so everyone understands, I don't really even have to make content to kind of cause this because it almost seems like they're doing it to themselves, right? We saw the great triggering. The great triggering, I'm gonna call it for everything money, has been the most recent Alibaba day trading video. And we talked about that in the live stream. If you haven't seen that, I don't. you don't even need to see me. Go check out Investing with Cole. He has a short enough video for you to see exactly what ex- happened. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cringe stuff, I'll tell you that. So the the premise is now you can quit your job. You can quit your job day trading, and we'll see that right now. So this is Mo, and you saw from the beginning of this video that he said a quote, a quote that uh, is not by Albert Einstein and is a very common misconception. But remember, guys, he is smarter than you. If you remember the Alibaba day trading live video, he is more intelligent than you, the audience. Um, he, he, he knows what live means more than you do. Uh, you're just wrong for even questioning him. So this is what we're going to talk about. So he says, for example, you need a decent amount of money, around 250K. But there's something else I want to talk about. So he makes this claim uh, in around 40 seconds. 80% per year or 120% per year. Sorry, that's not me. If you're looking for that, go find one of other those yahoos on, on YouTube. I'm looking and saying you're going to probably be make somewhere in the 12 to 20% range per year. And 20% I do think is high. If you want to day trade, you can certainly make a lot of money. We have a couple of people in the bid and ask. All right, before we continue on this couple of people, and then he mentions only one person and doesn't even show it, let's just say this. So there was someone who came onto the live and defended you 
dude, okay? He defended you. He said, this guy only says that you, you can make about 8 to 10%, which is already kind of eh, but he said it was less. Now you're coming out and saying it's 12 to 20%, 12 to 20% per year. This is the sales pitch. What is the sales pitch for? It's for this. By the way, there's plenty of evidence already for the old tiers that they used to have. Anyone who's been with Everything Money for a long time remembers the old tiers. The old tiers being $10,000 for a four-hour Zoom call with Paul. Paul over there, and we'll get to him one day, uh, but we're gonna focus on Trader Mo for the time being, and a 750 for an hour call with Trader Mo. Uh, so that's something to be a bit concerned about, not including this one here. So now this is what's still up, and by the way, let me just say, if you guys do this, if you guys change this, I'll stop the criticism right now. Switch to only the software, and you are good to go. I won't have anything to complain about. You get rid of the trading, day trading stuff, unless, Unless you show audited results about your track record in terms of investing, audited results, not some chart in the past like some people do, or in this case, you know, you, you just like show people your audited results because you are selling a service. So you have foregone your privacy. Your privacy is gone. I know that you made that BS about lawyers, you know, not being able to show your allocation, right? Before, you didn't even show allocation, by the way, guys. You did not even show allocation. I showed this on the live stream. Your portfolios that you provided to paying members, to paying members, you just had literally a piece of paper. You wrote some stocks down. That's all you did. You just wrote some stocks down. No indication of allocation percentage. Very convenient because you can always come out and say, oh, I only have 1%. Oh, I only have this percent. That just tells me right there, that's that's a really big red flag, really big red flag that you're doing that because it's it's a tactic used to shield oneself because all you need is allocation percentage because then I can tell you put that much of your portfolio into that stock and that's how that stock performed. Your portfolio has not been doing too good, all right? Because then you can't say, oh, I only put 1% in Intel when it's down 20%. No, no, because I'll see, I'll see it's, okay, you put maybe 20% in Intel. So that wasn't pretty good. That was a high conviction investment. And then you came out and said something about the, the not more than 10% all well and good. There's so many videos, guys. You, you guys, when you produce too much content and you, you don't really know what you're talking about, it's, it's your, wor your, your own worst enemy because you're going to put so much out there that you won't, you'll forget what you even said, right? And that's what I'm noticing too as well. So I forget what I even said. So people can go back and pick things uh, up. But hopefully the quality, and I did not say anything absolutely egregious back then. And also, uh, I'm technically not even selling, so it's all my content's completely for free. So here we go. If you're gonna do this, show the audited financial statements, or not financial statements, but results, then I will also shut up about it. I won't complain. I'll say, okay, well, this guy has made a lot of money and there's nothing I can sue. You're just doing it wrong. But if you don't do that, you're open to criticism. The, the shorts thing, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I really, I, I don't know what to say. But we'll, we'll talk about that in the future. We'll also talk about the other tiers that exist. Okay, so going back to this, this is the one guy that's doing it. One specifically, I won't say his name, but he sits at home and he day trades now. He actually still does his home, his current job because it's so easy for him to just get on the phone or whatnot, but he literally doubles the salary that he makes. So if he is over he, here making 50,000. I don't know if I'm reading too much into it, but he looked to the side because there is a person who is under Everything Money's employ who does talk in the bid and ask nation and he does talk about the results and he defends them vehemently and he works for them. And so I'm interested to know uh, whether or not that is the person. I'm gonna cross reference with my sources now after this video and find out for sure. But just to know that that is uh, actually someone that's in there. And so I, I don't know if I'm reading too much into it that he looked to the side and he's actually looking at that person. But uh, yes, and let's see what he says. He actually makes about 100,000 trading. Last year he made about $89,000 trading. So, so there's only one person and the person still has their job, which is so weird. So the whole point of this is quit your job day trading. And the one example he provides is someone who currently has a job. This is so weird. Okay. So, um, again, I don't think I need, even need to make the content just like people who will see it. it I, I'm only making the content because they promised people that I would. That's the only reason why this video is even going to be made. I really could, I have better uses of my time. I, I would rather be working right now towards what I need to finish and instead of just making this video right here on my break. I'd rather actually go enjoy my break. But I have to do this because, you know, the timing of it. But anyways. This is how you can go ahead and comfortably make a life song. Guys, remember what you're doing here. You are just trying to come in. If you have 250, if you have 250K in cash, 
what are you trying to do? You're really trying to come in here and just make 1% per day. There's multiple people. We do live day trading Monday through Thursday. And I have a couple of people in there that are like, I made my 1% today. I'm out. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do whatever else. I made 2% today. I'm out. I made a half a percent today. Bro, that, if people are talking things on a chat, that's like the equivalent of a Seeking Alpha comment section, man. You go to a Seeking Alpha comment section, they're like, I sold at the top. I sold at the bottom. Like, that's what the beauty of at least, you know, when we talk about it from the perspective of an author and Seeking Alpha, they will put out an opinion. And then the stock price will see the performance afterwards. You'll, at least they don't say like, I sold here and I sold there, ba 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 So, and, and even on YouTube, well, that's the beauty of YouTube because it's a video with a timestamp. So you put out a video and then everyone can see the date, right? So when you say, when you talk about a stock or an investment that you're making, you can put the dates there, right? And so you people can look back and say, okay, that's what he said on that date. That's how it performed right after. And then if there was an update afterwards, they can get that update. So talking about this right now, I mean, look, I, I don't even know what, it could just be a bunch of people just, you know, losing money and then fluffing themselves in the chats. I, I, I don't know. But that's not, they don't have anything to prove. You're the only one who has to prove technically. Because if I was in the chat, and I saw the other people who said they were making money. They have nothing to prove because I'm not, they're not offering me a service. They can fluff whatever they want. People on Seeking Alpha, I'm not going to go into the comment section of Seeking Alpha and see someone who's like, hey, show me your statements that you did that because he's not selling me something. He's not saying, hey, uh, I can teach you how to make money. I can teach you how to do this process. No, actually, you're the only one in this relationship doing that. So I just only would like that from you or not me. I don't really care because uh, I'm not going to pay for the service anyway. But like your customers, right? Give that to them. And then if they if that is out there, everyone will be able to see it. And then all of this criticism that I said will completely change towards, OK, he, he's doing something good and that's great. That's great. But you're just, you know, I maybe it's the different discussion of whether or not someone will be successful doing it. That will change the discussion. For now, until that happens, this is a very questionable enterprise. I'm out. This is all you're trying to do. You're trying to get these little, little, small wins that start to compound. Albert Einstein said it best. Comp I'm not going to listen to that quote again. I'm not. Okay, well, I'm already reading it. But yes, Albert Einstein did not say this, guys. It is so misused. I can't tell you how much. And remember, guys, remember, please. Um, I, I don't want to pick on you out there if you thought that Albert Einstein actually did say that. I'm not trying to pick on you. Um, because... Again, so maybe this is a, a bad point to make. It, it's being a little picky, but he did say he was smarter than you. So just remember that. So you didn't make that claim. So I'm not going to pick on you. OK, but he actually made that claim publicly that he is smarter than you, the audience. So it's funny that he says this and someone can just do a quick Google search and find out he didn't say that. Uh, that's a myth. OK. And as Cole said, he's a physicist. Why would he say this? OK, uh, this is a, this is always used by the finance bros. So, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my brother would would cringe. My brother's a math phys physicist, mathematician. So he he studied mathematics. Well, he's getting his PhD in mathematics and uh, uh, with a focus on physics portion. But anyways, he, he would cringe, and I, I already know. Uh, actually, I'm going to call him afterwards and just talk to him about this. <laughs> but on that note, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is the one. This is one video out of many that we're going to be making. I'm organizing all the content. Um, I'm actually focusing also on distributing to the YouTubers that have reached out. Um, it, I'm sorry if, if you emailed me and I, I didn't respond to you. Try emailing me again or contact me in a different way. Um, and then we will have to schedule a talk because I want to talk to you. I, I don't want to uh, just have a email relationship. I want to get to know you. And then I will give you the content because also I'm not going to make any deals with the devil. OK, I've decided that alongside with the community. I've talked to them back and forth because I know there are some people out there who would definitely love to see this stuff because it would actually benefit them. But it's akin to making deals with the devil. So I'm not going to be doing that. And I'm just going to refrain from just keeping people who have good intentions behind what it is that they're doing. OK, so with that being said, guys, again, I'd love to have a chat with you if you want to have this content. And uh, and so you can make videos on this too. Because again, that's the goal. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. I can't move on this way. When